Minister Fayong, dear Tanya, welcome to Jakarta. I'm so honored to receive your first visit to Indonesia. And this is the second ministerial level visit from Slovenia since 2006. For Indonesia, Slovenia is our second largest trading partner in Balkan regions. Colleagues, I just had a very good meeting uh, with uh, Minister uh, Vion, and we discussed a number of issues. Number one, or first, on the economic cooperation. We are very happy to note that our trade is enjoying an upward trend by 14.71% in the last five years. And last year, the trade value is increased by 45.4%. We agreed to explore more potential trade cooperation, such as on pharmaceutical, textile product, and furniture. We also explored the possibility of logistic cooperation with Port of Copper to boost our trade. On investment, I share some priorities for investment in Indonesia, among others, um, renewable energy, technology and innovation. And we agreed to expedite the conclusion of negotiation of Indonesia-AU Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement. Second, on education and youth exchange, we explore ways to expand this cooperation. We welcome the ongoing cooperation between University of Jambi and University of Ljubljana more collaboration between academic institution and youth will be encouraged among others through the Indonesian art and culture scholarship for international youth. We also agreed to convene bilateral consultation forum as soon as possible. This forum will be a good forum to identify concretely uh, cooperation, how to boost cooperation between our two countries. Colleagues, aside from bilateral issues, Minister Fayon and I have discussed several key regional and global issues. I have shared to Minister Fayon the Indonesian chairmanship in ASEAN, the situation in Myanmar and also Indo-Pacific. On Myanmar, ASEAN remains firm to push the progress of five point of consensus implementation. On the Indo-Pacific, we share the same vision of a stable and peaceful region of Indo-Pacific and Indo-Pacific as center of economic growth. And I have extended invitation to Slovenia to participate in the ASEAN Indo-Pacific Infrastructure Forum in September. Colleague Minister Fayon and I have discussed also the promotion of women, peace and security agenda. And I share with her about our effort to in Afghanistan, especially on the access of education to women. And of course, lastly, Indonesia and Slovenia agreed to strengthen our collaboration in the multilateral fora, including our candidature on Human Rights Council and Security Council. So once again, thank you very much for your visit, Tanya, and I would like not to invite you to share your views. Thank you, thank you very much. First of all, I wish to thank my host, Minister Marsudi, for a very warm welcome and a great hospitality there it no it's my great honor to be here in the friendly state of indonesia this is a visit long overdue 17 years and one of my predecessors was last here in 2006 um, over these years there were many meetings at the margins of multilateral events but the visit provides a much better opportunity for discussions on our further cooperation. And I um, am very glad for the openness, for the frankness, and for listening to each other, understanding each other, and for strengthening the dialogue between our two countries. 
Uh, last year, Slovenia and Indonesia celebrated 30th anniversary of uh, diplomatic relations. And this is a very good momentum to explore together where can we strengthen our bilateral cooperation. In terms of economic cooperation, you mentioned well, the trade is growing, there are good um, economic outlooks in both our countries, and there is much untapped potential. And the contacts and cooperation between our economies, our people-to-people -people contacts, and companies go long before Slovenia's independence. But however, much has changed in Slovenia and in Indonesia since then. And I have already discussed with uh, Minister Marsudi about this. So I look forward also to tomorrow's meeting with President of the Indonesian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. So we truly look forward to strengthen our not only political, but economic cooperation. We want uh, more business in Indonesia to know about our port of Cooper, uh, which is one of the northernmost Mediterranean ports. And through port of Cooper and otherwise, Slovenia is a natural and the shortest way from Asia to Central, Southeast Europe and East European countries. So I presented the minister um, the shortest way to the door to Europe through our um, port of Cooper. Since the last Slovenian visit to Jakarta, the importance political and economic of Indonesia has only grown. Um, last year, Indonesia chaired G20, a forum of 20 largest economies in the world. This year, Indonesia is in the lead of the ASEAN family and has recently hosted ASEAN summit in um, Labuan Bacho. And I'm delighted to be here at the very center of ASEAN to learn directly from the ASEAN chair about developments in the region. And we discussed lengthy about the developments and also the geopolitics. And we are of course all concerned about the dire situation in Myanmar, but at the same time, it is impressive how Indonesia in chair also of ASEAN is developing in so many areas and I commend strongly your, your um, approach. There are indeed many common goals and similarities between ASEAN and the European Union. Both our countries, regions are committed to the strategic partnership and to promoting further cooperations between the region. And on that note, may I add that I'm looking forward to meeting also as a Secretary General tomorrow. And I shared with my uh, dear colleague, Ritno, our concern about the war in Ukraine. We are very much aware that this war is negatively affecting ASEAN countries and adding to the costs of fuel, food, and fertilizers. So we both are committed to peace and stability, to international law, and to multilateralism. And our countries share many views. We are both committed also to a free, open, inclusive, and rule-based Indo-Pacific, where territorial integrity and sovereignty, freedom of navigation, and international law are fully respected. And it is also important for Slovenia. So we talked about developments in the Indo-Pacific region where the constructive role of Indonesia is well known and well respected. And um, we talked about um, EU-Indonesia relationship and I congratulate it also, and I congratulate also Indonesia on the recent signing of the Just Energy Transition Partnership. So we have a very good cooperation also in multilateral organizations, we share priorities, for example, fight against climate change, rule-based and effective multilateralism and sustainable development. Also as two female foreign ministers, first time in our countries, we share and are strongly committed to the agenda of women, peace, security, and empowering of women and girls. And speaking on that, um, among the global issues we touched upon Afghanistan, and I have great admiration for the efforts of you, uh, Deritno, on Afghanistan in particular for organizing in Bali in December the first international conference to garner support for Afghan women education. And we feel very strong in Slovenia about 
women empowerment. And I would just like to commend finally Indonesia's firm and clear commitment to climate resilience, low carbon development and green technologies also during your G20 presidency last year. So we also admire the significant contribution of Indonesia to international peacekeeping. So let me say once again how pleased I am to be here in Jakarta today. It has been a very inspiring, very informative, and very open discussion with the minister. And I remain confident for the future of our bilateral relations. They are certainly safe in the hands of two women ministers. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you very much.